Jason? Yes, sir. Looks like we have two items on the agenda this evening, both county cases, and uh, I'll just let you go ahead and dive into the first one, which is REZ 2016-13 Evelyn Lund. Yes, sir. Thank you. And for these two requests, it's a bit unique this month. Uh, the Lund request will go before the county commissioners tomorrow night, but the tower request will have another week and a half or so to go to the county commission in August. I say that it's not typical, but that's the way things end up this week. But for the Lund request, the ultimate request is for an updated site plan on Knights Ferry Road for what we call an event facility. Um, this facility normally holds weddings, but they also hold some meetings and gatherings on the property. Why we're here is because the site plan that was approved back in 2014, which you have a copy of, uh, they exceeded some square foot boundaries that we set with that site plan. This site plan now meets the current development as well as accommodates for some future recommend or some future improvements that we expect to see out there. The site plan that you were physically given tonight is one that we had hoped to see before your meeting. Um, to his credit, the uh, architect was out of town last week. Uh, he got in this morning, made these changes, and added to us by 1 o'clock. We made copies and they're available for you. I will point your attention to really um, two changes on the site plan. If you look on the eastern side of the property, I'll try to bring it up on the screen too, you'll see there is now a future five foot wide, wood, uh, wide wooden deck note that attaches that house to the gravel parking and a future five foot concrete wall that goes across the eastern side of that gravel parking. When we came out with our recommendation last week, we just were concerned we wanted to see that on there. So those are the changes to the site plan. The architect and his team also changed the various square footages that you see in the table to the right to reflect those changes. But ultimately, that's what we have to report. I know the applicant as well as the architect are in the audience should you have further questions. But really, one of my questions to them were, okay, beyond those, are there any other changes? Their answer was no. So I bring this to you with you know, those changes. What we hope to see with those changes is we approved it with one condition. I can now tell you with staff that I don't think that condition is necessary. They made the changes to the site plan. So with that, that's the only updates that we have. Uh, I think you'll see, you know, they really have tried to accommodate in detail for what is out there and for what future improvements they expect to see. So I would say at this point, staff's recommendation is for approval of this revised site plan. Okay, thank you, Jason. Commissioners, do we have any questions for staff regarding this request? Jason, I'm just and just run back over me just quickly. The the five foot that's the wood deck and the walkway. It, it, it was one of that for what reason? We wanted to make sure that pedestrians, including those that have special needs, were able to get from that handicapped parking space over to the house without having some kind of unimproved surface. Right now, we just want to make sure they had good pedestrian access to met our codes. And on the previous site plan, sir, there was just, there was no connection there. Right. Yes, sir. Commissioner, any questions for staff? There being none, anyone here tonight wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward this time. Anyone wishing to speak in favor? <coughs> My name is Kenny Cohn. I'm the architect on this project. My office is at 1806 Plum Street. I'm here with the owner, Ed Lund, and we'll be glad to answer any questions that you may have at this time. Commissioners, any requests for presenting? Any questions? I hope you brought some fish back from vacation. All I got to say, Jimmy. Didn't get you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Anyone else here wishing to speak in favor of this request? Anyone here tonight wishing to speak in denial of this request? Anyone here wishing to speak in denial of this request? There be none, Commissioner, do we need any discussion amongst ourselves? There be no discussion. At this time, I will take a motion on this request. Mr. Chairman. Yes, Mr. Blue. I make a motion that we... Uh follow our staff recommendation and recommend approval to the uh, county commission. We have a motion by Commissioner Willis. Will I have a second? I have a second by Commissioner Wiles. All in favor, signify by raising your right hand. Please call me last 7-0 on that. 
Thank you very much.